Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and welcome to another how to install video. Today, I will be showing you how to install the Napoleon's Eagles mod for Napoleon Total War. And for those of you who haven't heard of Napoleon's Eagles before, it allows you to recreate over 30 historical battles from the Napoleonic era with incredible accuracy. Everything from the map to the army sizes is as historical as possible, and it brings a nice addition of content to Napoleon Total War. This mod is also compatible with Napoleonic Total War 3, version 8.7 and newer. However, it is now a standalone mod and can be used without the mod if you so choose. So let's go ahead and dive on in and get this mod installed. So we'll begin at ModDB's main page here, and in the search bar, begin typing in NAPOLEON, and it should come up in all caps here. And then we're going to navigate over to the Files tab, and they dropped a new update quite recently. In fact, at this video's release time, uh, it will have only been about a month, so version 8.7, and it's only the one file that we need, which is very handy, so let's go ahead and hit Download Now. Leave this ad up until you do see it populate in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And once that happens, you can close this ad here. And if you guys have a blank piece of paper here instead of the icon with the three books stacked on top of one another, uh, you probably don't have any extraction software, and that software is definitely needed to go further in the installation. So while that's downloading, uh, go ahead and go to Google look for a WinRare free download. It's it's the one that I choose to use because it's, it's free and uh, you can use it as long as you want. But a couple of other good options are WinZip and 7-Zip. But once that is all finished downloading, we can go ahead and close out Google Chrome and then go to our File Explorer. And in the Downloads folder, we have the Napoleon's Eagles. Go ahead and double click on that. Wait for the pop-up to buy. You just exit it. And then this is the installation EXE, so we'll just drag that to our desktop. And then we can close both of these files. And now we need to go with, uh, sorry, we need to go through with the installation process. So let's go ahead and double click on the EXE. And when it prompts you, it you just go ahead and click yes. And then we are in Napoleon's Eagles, the installation or the install program. So let's go ahead and click next, next, I agree, next. And then this is where we're going to have to direct it to our Napoleon Total War folder. So I'll leave an annotation in the bottom hand corner of the screen for uh, what most people who have it installed on their G drive are. And uh, I'll cover uh, Steam users and disk users there. So if you do see your pathway in the bottom of the screen, go ahead and choose that. But for me, I've got it on my G drive. So most people will have it installed on their main drive. But as you can see, my uh, drive is quite small. It's only 500 gigabytes because uh, it's a solid state drive. Uh, so I store everything on uh, this drive here. So I'm going to go G, Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, down to Napoleon Total War, and then hit OK. And then just move over and double check that it didn't double Napoleon Total War. Sometimes if you click on it twice, it'll go uh, Steam Apps, Common, Napoleon Total War, Napoleon Total War. You don't want that. Just make sure that it has the one there. And then once that is done, go ahead and click Next and Start. And this is quite a small mod, so it really doesn't take too long to install. But I didn't want to make any cuts while this is installing because as you can see it has frozen at 66% and I believe it freezes at 73% and 81% as well. So we'll just follow along uh, so that way you guys can see that those uh, freezes are completely normal. I try not to cut my install videos when there are freezes in the installation process because I find that that's where a lot of people get hung up. They'll allow it to sit there on the frozen state for about 5 or 10 seconds and then they'll get frustrated and then just cancel or close it out. But at least this way uh, with a uncut or unaltered install video uh, you guys will be able to just follow along quite nicely and yeah there we go it froze at 81% as well. And I believe that's the last little hiccup. But there is a lot of scripting to this mod, guys, so it, it, it's a lot of uh, files like uh, uh, that it has to install, a lot of preference files that it needs to put in to Napoleon Total War. So it is a small, it is a small mod because there's not many graphical changes, but there are a lot of scripts.
just about done there. And perfect. Go ahead and hit next and exit. And then we're all done. And you can see that we've got another one here. So you can go ahead and just delete the EXE because now you've got a new desktop shortcut. And now we're going to enter into the setup stage of this video because a couple of people who were requesting this how to install video also weren't sure how to actually set up their battles. So let's go ahead and do that now. So double click on there. It's going to open up this. Let me just turn off that music because I'm unsure on the copyright. And here are the battles that you have to choose from. So you can see that they're divided into multiple theaters. We've got uh, Poland, France, Belgium, Spain, a lot of Spain battles, Italy. Uh, we're just going to go for the first one, Montebello, for this exercise. You can see we also have a few buttons up here that you can uh, toggle on and off. Uh, for instance, the free camera, if you want to have restricted camera, uh, you go ahead and select that. You can see it's deactivated and then just select it again to activate it and uh, Restoring vanilla files. So if you want to maybe play Darth mod or uh, the Great War mod and you don't want this mod to um, Conflict with those other mods just click to restore the vanilla files and then you can obviously toggle uh, flags on or off depending on if you want that uh, for cinematics, but that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and click on Montebello it's going to load a new page here, and you can actually look at the start position. So you can see that the enemies will be in this bottom left-hand corner here, and then all of the French forces will be up here. Uh, so yeah, we've got Austrian forces, French forces. You can actually set some random delays for reinforcements as well if you're playing with more than one person. And we've got the objectives here, and this is a very detailed... Uh, uh, look at the actual map. This is the map that you'll actually have in your uh, mini view on the battlefield as well. And the modders have uh, really painstakingly gone to a lot of trouble to make sure that these maps are as accurate as possible, and I really, really respect that. But once that's all finished, you can go ahead and just close those out, because uh, we already selected uh, Montebello, and then we're going to go ahead and click play. And that is the setup stage. So now what the game is going to do is it's going to load up that particular scenario. Now, if you wanted to play a different scenario, unfortunately, you're going to have to actually quit out of the game and then load up the setup process once again and then click on a different battle. And there we go. And let me just turn off the music. Oh, yep, the music is already off. Perfect, because uh, it has a custom soundtrack, but again, I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. Now, this is what confuses a lot of people, because as you can see, we've got the Napoleon's Eagles 8.7 logo here, so clearly we've installed it correctly. But most people are going to try and go to single player, play battle, land, and then you can see we do actually have some of the scenario battles here. But that will not work. As you can see, if we uh, actually go down to the one we selected, which was Montebello, and hit Next, you'll see that you can't actually change your uh, your faction. And it's the same with the AI. So you, all of these changes are kind of locked up. That's because you can't actually play it through the single-player tab. You have to go to Multiplayer, Total War Online, Battle List, Host Battle, and then Scenario. Once you hit Scenario, then it will load into the scripted battle of Montebello, and you can see that it's labeled right there. And it actually has a few different choices of battles that you can play. So you can do the classic 1v1, where you have one France versus one Austria. You've got a two Austria versus one French, a two French versus one Austria, and then the classic 2v2. And the modders were pretty specific with letting you know that playing with AI really isn't the best option. As I said before, there's a lot of scripting to these battles, and the AI just doesn't know what to do with A, the scripts that they're given with, and B, the amount of units and their positions on the battlefield. You'll see once we load into this 1v1 just for testing purposes, that the Austrians have uh, some entrenched positions all around the map, and then you'll just see that once we load in, the AI is just going to grab all of their forces and then just bring them together. Like, it just can't comprehend that those were good positions to have them in. So it's highly recommended that you play with uh, other human players. But uh, for this, this uh, how to install, I'm just going to show you using an AI. But there you go. Now it's loaded in with the correct... Uh, the correct faction which is France and it has the custom army all built in here a pretty glorious army indeed 
And uh, defending here, I'm just going to add a Austrian AI. And let's go ahead and start. Now, the sheer amount of units that you will see present on the battlefield will lag your game quite a bit. So in these larger battles, especially if you're going for something like Waterloo that's a 4v4, um, I highly recommend that everybody turns their settings down to the lowest setting while playing the battle uh, because you may experience some crashing uh, if the settings are too high. Even me just playing the 1v1 here, just the size of my French forces, when I zoom down, you'll see that it actually does start to lag quite a bit. But uh, nevertheless, a very, very cool mod for sure. And so detailed as well. I, I really highly respect the modders for how detailed and how much research must have gone into all of these battles and making sure that, you know, the amounts of units uh, on the battlefield are as accurate as possible and whatnot. But yeah, you could see all of the Austrian positions were entrenched here, but uh, they've all obviously gone hidden except for their artillery pieces, but you can see that the Austrians are just uh, grabbing all of their artillery pieces and bringing them together. So those entrenched positions aren't really going to work for uh, a historical rendition or recreation of the battle. But if we zoom over here, you can see the glorious French army is ready to go. Got some pretty sweet units here, but that is pretty much the installation complete and the setup. So hopefully this really helped you guys out. Um, I do try to uh, make sure that there, my install videos are a little bit longer than than most people. Usually they're only two or three minutes for the installation, but I try to take a little bit more time just to show you guys from start to finish without any cuts that um, we can get this mod installed. But now I'm just beginning to ramble while enjoying the French forces moving forwards on the battlefield. But hopefully this helped you guys to install this mod. And uh, if it did, uh, leave a like. I really do appreciate all of the uh, support for the channel. And if you ran into any snags along the way, please do leave a comment down below and I will try and help you out as soon as I can. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.